I mean, this is like, this is a thing that I think um, when leftists go, you know, all forms of oligarchy are the same and all forms of extractive economics are the same. They miss important nuances that uh, are important, not just like intellectually, but because they represent fracture lines in our adversaries' camps. Mm -hmm. So Yanis Varoufakis wrote a really good book last year um, called Techno-Feudalism. Uh, where he distinguishes uh, feudal from market economics. Uh, and he says, look, you know, like feudal lords, they owned land and there were peasants who were bound to the land and the peasants owed them rent. And um, that rent was not subject to competition. If the next lords, peasants were better at working the land, the, your, your rent didn't go down. Um, and you made money no matter what, and workers had to work for you, but they owned the means of production, right? Like, in fact, that was an advantage, just like, you know, Uber drivers have to provide the car, peasants had to provide their agricultural implements, but they still owed you rent no matter what, right? And that is distinct from entrepreneurs, capitalists, who provided capital, demanded the end of, um, peasants being tied to the land because they wanted peasants to be proletarianized, kicked off the land and therefore forced to seek wages in factories, and who wanted to turn the land over to industrial input sheep for, for textile mills. Um, they were the enemies of the landlords, right? Early capitalist theorists like, mm. like Smith hated landlords because he, they saw the landlords as like the, uh, a drag on entrepreneurs. Landlords are anti-growth, right? Landlord growth comes from conquering other territories, right? It doesn't come from improving production. Capitalist growth comes from improving production. Both of them uh, extract the fruits of that growth from right. labor, yeah. right? But the capitalist wants the laborer to be more efficient, right? Whereas the landlord just wants to get their rent. If you own like a, a cool uh, corner uh, storefront in like the Kreuzberg, and you have a cafe that pays you rent, and another even cooler cafe opens across the street and drives your cafe out of business, uh, your your tenant's cafe out of business, right? You as the landlord are now better off because your shitty cafe tenants are out of business and you can rent that storefront to someone who's really excited to sell, I don't know, upcycled like vintage denim uh, to uh, people who are in line for the cool coffee shop, mm. right? Land, like landlords, it's heads they heads they win, tails you lose. Uh, entrepreneurs are uh, you know at each other's throats. Every entrepreneur wants to be a landlord, right? Every entrepreneur would like to switch from making profits to making rents. Sure, because competition keeps you up at night. 